The objective within this lesson is to divide decimals with the remainder using place value understanding and relate to a written method. Okay, let's use our place value chart to be able to go ahead and divide 6 and 72 hundredths divided by 3. First, I'll model my number. 6, 70, two hundredths. Then I'm going to go ahead and, and make three groups. And I'll start with my ones place to divide. Divide my six ones by three. And I'm able to model all six of them. So I'll cross them out. When I move my tenths place, start placing these. I can only place two within each. And I'm still left with one more. That one more is what I regroup over to the hundreds place. And then from the hundreds place, then I can go ahead and divide by 3 again. So there's 12 divided by 3 is 4. And that's my answer. Right here's my answer. Two ones, two tenths, four hundredths or 2.24. My written method, 6.72 divided by 3. 3 goes into 6 two whole times, because 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. Bring down the 7. 7 divided by 3 is 2, because 2 times 3 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. Bring down the 2. 12 divided by 3 is 4. My decimal point, and the rest of my work there. Here's my next problem. Make a place value chart. Ones, tenths, and hundredths. Model by number. Five ones, one tenth, six hundredths. And this time I'm dividing by four, so I need to have four groups. Start with the ones place, distribute them, one left over. Regroup that one over into the tens place. There's now 11 of them, divide by four is two. And I have three that are left over. Distribute them. There we go. So there's 36 divided by 4, which is 9. So then it's 1.29 as our answer. Here's our written work. Four goes into five one whole time. One times four is four. Five minus four is one. Bring down the one. Eleven divided by four is two. Two times four is eight. Eleven minus eight is three. And I bring down the 6. 36 divided by 4 is 9. And our answer is 1.29. Okay, your turn to try. Set up a place value chart. Also show me the written method. Pause the video while you do your work. All right, so there's our place value chart. We model our number first. And then how many groups are we making to divide this into? 
right, 3. Divide our 1's first. Dividing our 10's, we're left with 1 more tenth, which we can regroup to the 100's place. Those 15 hundredths, when we divide it by 3, we get 5. And then so we have our answer. 1.15. 1. Let's show our written method. Three goes into three one whole time. One times three is three. Three minus three is zero. Bring down the four. Four divided by three is one. One times three is three. Four minus three is one. Bring down the five. Fifteen divided by three is five. And the rest of our work. Here's another problem. Let's use the standard algorithm to solve it. 8 cannot go into 2, 8 can go into 20, 8 goes into 20 two whole times, because 2 times 8 is 16, and 20 minus 16 is 4. Bring down the 0, we divide again, 40 divided by 8, which is 5, because 5 times 8 is 40, and 40 minus 40 is 0. Bring down the 8, 8 divided by 8 is 1, have our decimal point right there, 1 times 8 is 8 and 8 minus 8 is 0. So that's our standard algorithm to solve 20 and 8 hundredths divided by 8 does equal 2 and 51 hundredths. Okay, your turn to try. Go ahead and use a standard algorithm to solve 6.72 divided by 4, 6 and 72 hundredths divided by 4. Pause the video while you do your work. Four goes into six one whole time. One times four is four. Six minus four is two. Bring down the seven. Twenty-seven divided by four is six, because six times four is twenty-four, and twenty-seven minus twenty-four is three. One more digit to bring down the two. Thirty-two divided by four is eight. So we have our decimal of point there, and it's one point six eight is our answer. How would I check my work if I was running a check for this? Right, I would multiply 1.68 by 4. 4 times 8 is 32, 2, regroup a 3. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 3 is 27, 7, regroup a 2. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. And place my decimal point. So my answer does check. Okay, one more problem. Here we have a thousandths number divided by 6. Let's set this up. 6 goes into 6 one whole time, because 1 times 6 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. Bringing down the 3. 3 divided by 6 is 0. Very important, that 0 there. 0 times 6 is 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. And then I can bring down the 7. 37 divided by 6 is 6, because 6 times 6 is 36. 37 minus 36 is 1, and then I can bring down the 2. 12 divided by 6 is 2, because 2 times 6 is 12, and 12 minus 12 is 0, and my decimal point. 1.062 is our answer. Remember, if we did want to check this, we could have taken 1.062 and multiplied it by 6 to see whether or not we get 6.372.